Welcome to Spotlight Torrance, where we're exploring your city. I'm your host for today, Julie Chan. On today's show, we're taking a closer look at Japanese culture and food. I'm going to introduce you to Chef Dion today, who is a sushi catering chef, and he's going to teach us how to make some sushi. But first, we're going to head out to the Cherry Blossom Festival, where I had a chance to meet some folks who show us picnic in the park Japanese style. The Cherry Blossom Festival celebrates new beginnings after a hard winter in Japan. Over 200 Japanese residents were out to share some of their culture. Uh, onigiri. Onigiri yeah. is rice. Oh, yeah. look, you even used some brown rice, didn't you? Yeah, brown yeah. rice. It's a healthy. Yeah, yeah. more healthy. More but healthy. in Japan, they only use white rice, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you put nori around it, yeah, and nori, nori is yeah. seaweed. And yeah. so inside is the ume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> There's the ume. Mm -hmm. Ume boshi is a sour plum, very popular in Japan. Rice, a staple in Japanese cuisine, can be found in most bento box lunches. Families brought their eastern version of picnic at the park. Another family shared their version of the rice ball. Yeah, the mix of the uh, green, uh, uh, green onion and then ham, and so I, I put the uh, curry, curry sauce. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's very, very easy. Takagi attends yearly and said it's a great reminder of growing up in Japan. Hanabi means cherry blossom in Japanese and it's a favorite season for daughter Kaori. Gets to catch up with friends and family and um, like enjoy the enjoy watching the cherry blossoms. Mixing Western and Eastern traditions, including an assortment of sandwiches made for a great spread at the picnic. We have a chicken cutlet, we have um, um, tuna, um, let's see, egg. it's an egg sandwich here. Ham? Uh, ham and is, it a, is this a ground beef? Yeah, I think Yeah, so. ground beef. Bento is also another word for picnic to the Japanese. With a family-style way of sharing the food, everyone pitched in. Sushi and cold noodles are also popular bento items. Oh yeah, this yeah, is this the soup base. Yeah, soup that you dip the noodles in. Yes. The somen noodles, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Green tea, these yeah. are cold yeah. somen noodles. Very, are these very popular at a picnic? Yeah. <laughs> very delicious. You're a very good Japanese cook. Setsuko spent four hours making her favorite Japanese dishes and was happy to share all of it. She also had a chance to sit and enjoy the performances. So it's the time to come together, enjoy, eat great food, watch wonderful performances. Japanese embrace their culture through events like this and appreciate the Japanese influences here in Torrance. Well, those bento boxes at the picnic look so delicious. I just wanted to sit down and eat them. But today, I am here with Chef Dion. Tell me about your business. Uh, well, I run a sushi catering company. It's called Fish on Tap. Tell me about all the different kinds of sushi you make. Well, I do very, like, from uh, tuna, salmon, yellowtail, um, the California rolls, spicy tuna rolls. Basically, I build a menu to what you'd like to have in your uh, at your occasion, your party, your event. And do you have a restaurant or storefront? No, that's what's great about it. You know, it's like I don't have a restaurant, I don't have a truck, so I don't, I'm not able, I don't bring those prices to you. So I'm very mobile, I'm in and I'm out and um, set up for parties from 2 to 10 to 50 to 100. Do you ever eat it? Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I'm always tasting new fish every, every time I'm doing a party and, you know, I do, the, that's my quality control right there. Because uh, when I do a party, you know, there's no shortcuts. You know, you're paying for what you're going to get. Right. You know what I mean? And I get the, the best fish, so. Good. And so tell me, what are we going to be making today? Well, today we're going to be making the traditional California roll. We're also going to make a shrimp tempura roll. We're also going to make spam masubi, which is, I heard, your favorite. Yes. And we're going to do a fusion roll. It's going to be a spicy tuna with seared tuna on top. And for dessert, we're going to make something called frushi. Stick around after the break because we're going to learn how to make all these fabulous sushi creations. In order to beat breast cancer, I knew I would have to lose my breasts. But to reclaim my life, I chose breast reconstruction. 
Each year, nearly 150,000 women will learn they will undergo a mastectomy due to breast cancer. But 7 out of 10 women are never told about their breast reconstruction options. Breast reconstruction is a very important part of the healing process, both physically and emotionally. Download my song Flower to share the message and help us share the fact that women can feel whole again. Mama. Mama. See mama. mama. Yeah. I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm almost two now and still not responding. That's one sign of a communication disorder, and delaying treatment can affect my development. Many parents aren't aware of the early signs of speech, language, and hearing disorders, yet early detection and treatment can improve quality of life. Say dada. Ugh, here we go. Identify the signs of communication disorders. Welcome back to Spotlight Torrance. I'm here with Chef Dion, sushi chef, who is teaching us all about how to make sushi today. Chef Dion, so, Talk to me about how we prepare before we make sushi. Well, I do all the prepara preparation. Um, when I do my lessons, I'll show you how to do all the preparation because it makes my job easier. Uh, first of all, you're going to have a sharp knife, um, and we can go into that in a minute. But we're going to chop vegetables, which um, you do need a sharp knife to cut, which is usually julienne, and you need a sharp knife to cut your fish. Wow. Now, I see here you have a few different knives. Tell me. What do you use each of these for? This one here is my sashimi knife. I use this just to either cut the rolls or cut small sushi. My rolls and cutting the flesh fish in the sashimi. Um, the larger one I'll use to cut, which is really nice, my favorite, because it looks cool, Yeah. is um, for cutting my larger fish. Um, not so much with the skin. Mm -hmm. um, I'll use this to break the skin and then the fleshy part. Um, I'll use this one for it. And it has a nice little like bow to it, mm -hmm. so you can actually cut without flexing. And this one here is my chef knife, but it's Japanese. Same brand, everything's the same, same company. Um, and uh, it's just, I love it. It's they're just very pretty. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. This one's pretty heavy for cutting, but this one's for vegetables, right? Yeah. It's for leverage, because right. you're not lifting it up, you're actually just going to, you want to have that, the knife do all the work. Have you heard of the market called Daiso? Uh, no, I haven't. So, you've heard of 99 cent store, right? Yeah, I have. All right, so Daiso is the Japanese version of the 99 cent store. Earlier in the week, our reporter Jacqueline Sarkeesian was at the Daiso store. We're going to go check out what she found. Daiso Japan is a very unique store and can only be found in two states in the country. It's a discount store. A lot of our store, our items are from Japan. Not only does Daiso Japan have novelty items, but everything in the store is $1.50. It's equivalent to a 99 cent store. It's like a dollar store from Japan, but it's better quality and obviously it's more um, items. The store has everything you can imagine. Food, clothes, stationery, cooking tools, and more. All for $1.50. In Japan, everything is like 100 yen, which is almost equal to $1.50. It's like a dollar store. Um, but because of shipment, we have to add a little bit more. At Daiso Japan, they sell a wide variety of items for only $1.50. But some things are sold exclusively at the store, like this mechanical eraser, this solar swinging flower, and this masubi maker. I come to Daiso for the treasure hunt. There's a lot of great stuff here to find, and it's affordable. Silverman moved to Colorado from Torrance, and every time they come back, they make it part of their vacation to visit Daiso because of its one-of-a-kind items. We're here for a week, and we're here just come to Daiso once or twice during the week just to hunt. Silverman and his family, like many Daiso customers, keep coming back because of the great prices and the inventory. The store is constantly getting new merchandise. Like Silverman said, walking through the store is like a treasure hunt. You never know what you're going to find. Luckily, Bryant showed me around and pointed out the most popular items. It's a snack, a choco room. It's a chocolate with the, the cracker. It looks like a mushroom. That's the best selling and a matcha green tea paki. And let's not forget the Matsubi maker to make sushi. Daiso Japan is expanding their business, but they currently have 16 locations in LA County. 
Reporting for Torrent City Cable, I'm Jacqueline Sarkeesian. Thanks, Jacqueline. Well, I love Spam Musubi, so good to know that they have the Musubi maker there at Daiso. Do you make Spam Musubi? I do. Good. Can you make it for me today? Let's do this. All right, great. First, we're going to get our nori. Uh-huh. And then we're going to wet our hands. And we're going to put some rice in here. Well, and you don't need the Spam Musubi maker? Um, I am the Spam Musubi maker. Ah, I see. Professionals don't use that plastic thing. Right. And Interesting. do you like avocado? I love avocado. So we're going to put avocado inside. Nice. I've never had Spam Musubi with avocado. Cucumber? No, no, no cucumber. You got it. Spam Musubi. We already seared this up earlier. And what I do is um, I just wrap it around. Uh-huh. Flip it over. Yep. And I put a little glue, which is rice, on the other side. And that holds it? That holds it. But then we need a makisu, which is a bamboo mat every sushi man has or woman. Right. Um, and I recommend having this. And how does that hold it together? Well, the nori holds everything together. So your sushi is all in one little package. Right. And then what we do is we'll wet, we have our knife. I like using the big knife, but you can use any of these knives. Okay. So what we're going to do is... Okay, we'll, now you wet the knife. I wet is the knife because it doesn't want to stick. Okay. Yeah, that's a good question actually. That's a that goes into the sushi lessons that I teach you um, with the Sushi 101. Uh, and you want to use the back of the knife and then slice. Do you like mayo? I do. We'll put a little spicy mayo I on there. I shouldn't, but I do. Yum. A little... Pons ponzu sauce. I love ponzu sauce on everything. There you go. Yum! I've Some never Spamasubi had... Spamasubi with avocado. Delicious! I love no, avocado. That, it's so good. The ponzu sauce and your spicy mayo make this outstanding. Thank you. You gotta make this at home. Delicious. Well, we'll be right back with more great sushi recipes from Chef Dion. Here at PSA, we come together to help and support those who are affected by disasters around the world. We also know there are those who wish to make their own contributions. However, what others don't realize is the way they donate can make a difference. One factor is the additional cost of shipping. Another is whether the donation meets the necessities of those in need. So next time, please make your donations count. Donate cash. For others, it may have just been a summer job. But for me, it was training. Now I'm an Air Force pararescueman, and my job is to save lives. Make the right choices today, and be ready for the challenges tomorrow. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. Welcome back to Spotlight Torrance, and I'm here with Chef Dion, sushi chef, and tell me what we're making next. Um, today we're going to be making a California roll, and it's a shrimp tempura roll. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to start off with our sushi nori, okay. which you can hold that down there. And then we're going to just put rice in it. We're going to make it a shorty, a uh, short way. Um, some people like it like eight piece. Um, this for today, we're going to make it into four pieces. Avocado, yep. which goes in California roll. And we're going to put an avocado in for the shrimp to pearl roll. Now, avocado is not usually in tempura rolls, right? Um, not a lot of them, because... I would love it, but... Yeah, I love it in everything. And then the shrimp tempura, which we have, we're going to put these sticking out, so it kind of, right. so you know it's a shrimp tempura roll. Exactly. And then we had cucumber, and the only reason we have cucumber in the California roll is for the crunch. If you want to grab it and roll it, and we're going to use this as a little glue. And you didn't go all the way across, you just put a little rice right in the middle. Yep. Yep. A lot of people don't like rice in California, right. so it's kind of cut back on the rice, so you have more of the fish.